Hey guys, everybody, it's JDR with me. On TV, over here on TV, once a day, every day, turn on the machine, start talking. Yeah, I think we'll talk about an hour today. It's the program. Thanks for watching. If you guys are just tuning in, you guys are flipping through the channel, you're like, oh man, uh, whatever's over now at 11 o'clock, 11.30 time, I'm gonna watch around, flip around. Oh, it's 11.35, I'll wait five minutes for the other shows. Hey, look at this show, we're on TV. Man, I'm sitting on this couch. There's nobody here. Sometimes the people hear them, and when they're here, I talk to them. When they're not here, who am I gonna talk to? I'm not talking to the people that aren't here. That's for sure. That'd be weird. You talk to people that aren't there. If you do, it's possible that that's a problem in your mind. You get my problems. So hopefully you don't have any of those. And because I'm talking to you, I'm here on TV. Don't talk to yourself anymore. Talk to the TV. Here we are on TV. So if you guys want to call the number, you can do that. Our number is 330-536-3802. Yeah, call. Call in. Oh, hey, it's Mark. Hey. This one on? Yeah, that one's on. That one sounds Hello? on. You want to use your mic? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, all right. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to show up. I started doing the show. We're only about two or three minutes into the show, though. So you guys cool. didn't really miss much. I'm not sure which mic. Hello, hello. I'm not sure which one is. Uh, here, keep talking to your. Not not you or the that one. Hi. Yeah, I think that How's one's still working, right? Yeah. Hello, hello, check, check, yep, all yep, right, yo, oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I pretty much just started the show, and I was just uh, telling everybody what happens on the show until we're talking to the machines start talking here. Who are, who are you there, Mark's friend? Oh, my name's Lonnie. Um, I'm Mark's fiance. Oh, <laughs> hi. Hi, nice to meet you. We heard about you from before. Yeah, she just got, got into town on Friday night. We heard about, uh, oh, I'm gonna open my beer too. Things turned off now. Oh no, oh, oh, is it, should be this thing. Did you got, did you hit this thing? Oh no, happened. I don't know. Uh, oh, it got unplugged, I see what happened. Oh. So you, have you, uh, you've been in California, right? You're from California, or? Yeah, um, right now I live in Arcata, and I'm gonna move up here, gosh, like, in the middle of June? Yeah. yeah. A few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks. Yeah. The, um, did you ride a plane? No, I drove up Whoa. here. Yeah, it was a really nice drive though. Went by fast. Yeah, on the on the I five up up from California. Yeah. Is that what I did? I don't. The the one oh. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. No, the one oh one to the one ninety nine to the five. Yeah, because there's only like one freeway in Arcata. You just gotta hit the road. It was actually like the easiest road trip ever though because it just kind of, um, there's like a, not very many options of where to go. Yeah. You just, kind of you just go north. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Sounds like a good trip. You see anything on the road there? Let's see. I saw a lot of um, beaches that looked really inviting. Oh, a lot of signs for adult stores. And casinos. For, tr for truckers, maybe. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, probably. I kind of wanted to stop just to see, but I also kind of wanted just to get up here, see Mark instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the adult stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, have, you, have you seen the program? Yeah, we have a, if you guys want to say anything important, or you can use the, the phone echo mic. Have you seen the program? I haven't. Mark tried to um, email me a link to the program, uh -huh. and he did everything except for including the link. Yeah, I was just like, oh, here's Yeah, he said, yeah, it was just an email that said, watch this, here's some, some good stuff or something. And yeah. that was it. There was, there was <laughs> watch, watch this nothing link. 
Yeah. So you, you guys have your engagement rings on? I think I saw that. You, uh, yeah, I got mine on. Let's see, look, here's a close up, oh. close up camera. Oh, you go first. See this stuff? Yeah, well, it's it's kind of blurry, yeah, but that one's mine. That looks good in the camera. It's shiny. Yeah. It's turquoise. I, I asked yeah. Mark about this uh, last maybe two weeks ago. He announced he announced this wedding on here, so maybe the viewer or the uh, if the viewers remember this, it's they uh can, they he said that he was gonna bring you on here before. Now it happened. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, that was last time. Yeah, cool. When, when was that? Where was that? A couple weeks ago? It was like. That was probably like three weeks ago. Something, something like that. that. Yeah. Do you see uh, anything interesting since then? Um, someone bit me last night. Someone bit you in Olympia? Yeah. On yeah. a stranger? Yeah, I that's, got bit. That's what said. Oh man, let's hear about that. What? Um, I don't, yeah, I was walking home and a stranger bit me. What, what happened? How did that, how did that happen? Well, all I know is that I had to go to bed early. Uh-huh. And she, she was out with Dylan Johnson eating fries at the reef or something. And then next thing you know, uh, what I put together uh, doing some detective work today that, uh, well, you probably had a lot of whiskey. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of whiskey. And um, she she came home probably maybe two hours after I'd been asleep. Yeah. And she just seemed really distraught. She was like, "These people in her limpy are so mean. Like someone bit me on the Whoa. neck. A stranger bit me on the neck. You were all you were all distraught. And then, <laughs> there was no consoling you. You just and then you just you know zonked out and that was it. So it was a it was not a like a playful bite. Sounds like it was aggressive. No, I kind was. Of I think I was attacked. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a vampire here. Yeah. Are you? Uh, did you? Did you get hurt at all? Are you okay now? Do you get no, I'm okay. Or? Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't even see any. I think I, I investigated for bite marks. It's like yeah. maybe something, but that could be pretty hazardous. I think I mean it might be even more, like uh, I guess diseased than getting bit by like an animal or something really got to look out for that getting bit by people if they bite if they break your skin you gotta go to the doctor or something to get some shots yeah. or yeah, something yeah luckily they didn't break the skin um i think i'll be okay <laughs> was it you think it was another bar patron or was it just like a some street person or something i don't i don't even know oh. and you yeah. were by yourself yeah i was by myself oh man did they run at you or like, I there was it like a surprise? Like maybe they were walking by, like and they pretended that like, they're gonna be nice, and then there's like a surprise, surprise no, attack. This pr they said, "Hey, you, I'm gonna bite you," uh -huh. and I was like, "No, you're not," and then they did. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. It can be a pretty rough town. Sometimes. Look out! Yeah, yeah, I guess you get bit. Well, here. If you're thinking of moving to Olympia. You should consider how strong, how how thick your skin is. Yeah, you need to wear a scarf at night. Thing. We got we got a text from this kid. This guy this guy is a an internet watcher and he's he's 14 and he likes to he likes to stir it up. He said you should talk about yellow abortion on the show, but he he doesn't even he's like a 14 year old uh, from Philadelphia. I don't even know what that's. Mean. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's nothing. He's just a uh, he he just likes to say he says yellow and then he says something um, like mildly controversial. Oh, okay. And he's so he's. He's just stirring it up. Let's call this guy. You're gonna call him on the phone? Yeah. We'll call him. He's gonna. And he says. He says like a. He just tries to be controversial. He's like a internet, internet kid, 14 year old internet kid. Oh yeah. So he'll. He'll say something, but he he's like he likes to talk about like masturbation. Whoa. Or or like, you know. Anything that's like mildly. That's not controversial. I mean, not anything like this, like 14-year-old, mi like mildly controversial kind of stuff for this guy. I bet that's what he'll say when we call him. Mild, mild controversy. Well, it's kind of it's an insult, right, to call someone like a, a yellow belly. Oh yeah, yellow is. Maybe that's, no, that's an. Fight. Maybe fight. that's that's what a yellow belly yellow belly abortion. Oh yeah. That's like a major insult. Oh. It's chicken. Oh. Chicken abortion. It's time for the dice game. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. Uh, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. We gotta write it down. We gotta write our numbers down first. We gotta uh, find a. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. oh, I, yeah, I, I got it here. Pen. So viewers, get a pen out. Yeah, you can. You don't have to write it on your hand if you don't want to. But you write down a number between one and six. I usually write it on my hand, and then uh, and then we're gonna roll the dice, and then see if we can win. Number. Oh, a number? A number between one and six. Oh. Did you write? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you wrote, I, I, no, it works. Oh, uh, okay. I just have to turn my hand. All right, you write, you write a nine. Hey, All man. Right. <laughs> All right. You ruined it. Uh, <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. We're going to roll the dice. No, it's no, 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 no. You, got your, you got your number? Yeah, I got my number. You too? I yeah. have a number, yeah. It's a two. Oh. I, I didn't have it. I, I lost. I, I had a three. I had a four. Mark had a six. We all lost. We should have what? Oh. We got lotto tickets. Oh, you did? We forgot to get you one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Well, you can just give me some of the winnings if you guys win. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah for, totally. For the yeah, oh, yeah, we'll put it towards, towards program stuff. Well, um, mine's kind of like mine's a lot of work. If you want to share it, oh, you, uh, you have the cross, oh, really? yeah, those crossword ones. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Really? Well, I've never tried it. Oh no, these ones are fun. Oh, why? I don't know. Just because. I have coins. I think they're fun because they take a while, you know. Okay. We should put it down over here. By the. We're gonna. Play the scratch, oh, the scratch ticket game. I wonder if this is we're supposed to be doing. I guess this is legal, legal state gambling. Yeah. I don't know what the, what the rules. Oh, are we being illegal? I don't know. I don't think it's. I think it'll be okay. It might be. It might be medium legal, but no, we don't have any censors. So is there? You guys want to play some poker? Uh, there was a focus on my American Idol machine, and it was just a win's turn. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like it's cellular voicemail, please leave a message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thanks. Hey, hello fellow, it's the program. Thanks for your text message, you can call us back. Uh, we, uh, we have about probably 50 minutes left on the show, okay, bye-bye. He's scratching it. So how are we going to know if you win? Uh, I have to find out what the winning number is, I'm not there yet. My numbers... Uh, I have a one, a two, a three, and a money bag. Whoa. Oh, so that means I did win a dollar. All right. You won a dollar? Already. Wow. Wow, that's exciting. You could win more? Mm, but I didn't. Oh. oh well, but you got your money back? But I got my money back. That's pretty good. That's great. The breaking money even. magnet. There it is. See, folks? Look at yeah, that. breaking even. That's exciting. Play the lotto. Hello? Hello? Who, who, yes? Hello? Yes, please. Hello? Go around. Are you not? Somebody's knocking. Somebody's knocking. I don't know who it is. Do you want me to check the door? Uh. Hello? I think they should be able to hear if they're not if they're not answering. They're not gonna answer okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe the the neighbor the neighborhood is finding out that we're in here and they're after they watch it on TV. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I'm not doing so well. And when it, you're gonna you don't think you're gonna. Yeah, I think my coin's unlucky. What what's the goal on this one? So what you do? These are my letters, and then you get a letter and you you scratch it off, and if you get. Um, a full words, then you win. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey guys, it's Alex. Um, <coughs> Kenny, I hope you. Oh, what? Um, Louis and uh, Freddie. Is that his name? Freddie. I don't know. Yep. The producer. I hope you called them, and I hope that you guys are all going to be there on Tuesday because me and Erica have a present for each of you guys. Oh, so, right, present. Yeah, I really hope that you're going to be there so we can meet you and talk to you guys. All right. Uh, talk to you later. Okay, bye. Those are some viewers. Yeah, they, they've been on the show, right? They came on last Sunday. After church? After church, yeah. You hear I about heard about that, so I heard it was a good one. Yeah, they they did church stuff. 
and they were trying to get me and Lewis to go to church with them. You but, didn't go? Uh, well, they invited us for the future. But their church seems like I, I kind of want to go to go to church, but they don't do the singing church. They have like the they 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 do like talking in tongues at their church and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of freaks me out. Oh no, you should you should go. Go try the talking in tongues. I don't know if you should try it. Yeah, well, <laughs> go see get it. In trouble. If you do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seems kind of scary though. The uh, but so they invited me to go up to their church, but they're gonna come back on the program on Tuesday, but so they can can continue. They have one more message here too. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh, what is this doing? Computer's going a little weird. Treat? Did you win? I don't know yet. I haven't won anything, but I, I think I will. Where's that calendar? See the page of the calendar? The calendar's like in a bunch of, page, a bunch of pages now. There's like a loose... The cal Oh, here it is. It's loose now. I used it to drain my noodles. Tomorrow... Yeah, fake Zilla, the band's coming back on here. Hey, sorry, it's me again. It's Alex, but, um, okay, so on Tuesday, you said that you could do three or four. Well, Tuesday, I have to work in Graham from 6 a.m. to, like, between 3 and 4. I usually get off, like, at 3 or, like, 3.30 or sometimes 2.45. Like, in Graham? It really just varies. So, yeah. So, I'll, so like, could we do five or, like, 4.30? Um, on Tuesday, or um, can you cancel whoever is going to do Monday and then switch them until they can do Tuesday and then we can do Monday because that would be way better. But anyway, so yeah, could you just, because we cannot do three because I have to go pick Erica up from Graham and then drive to Olympia. So that might take like an hour. So I could do like four, four, thirty or five. All right. All right. So just let me know. Okay. Bye. In Graham, huh? Where's Graham? Let's call them. Ask him where Graham is. Yeah. And who who's Graham? Yeah. I've never heard of Graham. I've I've heard I think I've heard of most of the places around here too. I would think little towns and stuff. Yeah, aren't you from around here? Yeah, I've never heard of the town of Graham. Maybe it's a uh, some kind of uh, slang. It might be slang. Maybe it's an acronym. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe it's short for a program. For to the gram. Oh yeah. <laughs> you wanna come on the gram? Yeah, we. St they have oh, their own gram out there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm getting some really bad letters. X E. You can only spell bad words with those letters. This is a not a very nice crossword. Where are all your vowels? I don't. You have to buy vowels. I haven't gotten any vowels. I think I'm gonna lose. I think you have a better chance of losing on those cards than winning, probably. Yeah. You ever, I've never won more than, I think, two dollars off of those things. Really? Yeah. You ever won a big, the big one? When I was a kid, I won 40 bucks. Yeah. Whoa. My That's mom, she put some scratchers in my stocking for Christmas, uh -huh. and I won 40 bucks. Whoa. In California? Yeah. I wonder if it's better. Maybe the, the odds are better in California. Yeah, they might be. I, I don't know. You might. It might have a little bit to do with attitude. The first time I ever got a lottery ticket, I was with my friend Joe. Yeah. I picked it up. I, I picked one out, and I was like, I'll take one. Yeah, I'll take one of these. And uh, I scratched it, and it, it was bunk. And he was like, oh, you're doing it wrong, man. He was like, here's how you do this shit. And he's like, hey, give me, give me one of those uh, rolling, rolling, but, rolling bucks tickets. Yeah. Like, okay, here you go. And he just took a nickel and scratched it off, and it was like 25 bucks. Whoa. Wow. And he's like, see? <laughs> and then he turned it in. You like, know what Mike Ruiz's strategy is? Huh. He likes to just like scratch one and then let it just kind of like settle in his wallet. Oh, yeah. And it'll take him like a week to do it. Whoa. And I, th I think he, what do you say? It has to like get lucky, like it has to age. Yeah. And at least, <laughs> at least if you spend a dollar, it's for fun too, and then you can. Have fun for longer for the whole week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I I I get a lot of tickets a lot, and I always say that I'm buying a million dollars, but I have never won. Oh, there's a commercial break. Dance, holy dance. Dance, holy dance. 
live TV dance party. First Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A, 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. All of our time. Immersed in the internet, our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Well, they turn white. We act like that you it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Hey, when you're ready. 22, 22 on TV. Watch my cookie. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to send her home if you do not listen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Your daily. Yeah. Is that a dramatic program? It's a cooking, cooking show. show. Yeah. yeah. This, uh, this month's episode is. Something to do with cooking with the kids. Wow. So that's why they have those kids on there. It's a good show. It's Martha and Me by Lisa Hurwitz. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, now we got the first segment of the show. Let's call Freddie the producer. See how he's doing. Oh. Pretty soon, I think those those liquor stores are gonna open around here. Like you know, California, yeah, it'll be like, like next week, I think. whoa, it'll be like your home. Next week. <gasps> winning. You're you won winning? something? Well, I'm not really winning, but I'm getting close. Well, you have one word. I have two words: use and base. <clears throat> but those aren't gonna win you money. I have to get four words to win my money back. <sighs> Yeah, it's really fun. It's a crossword puzzle. I'm really bad at those regular regular crossword puzzles. Yeah, those are hard. Yeah, I can do them on Tuesday or Monday. They, they get harder. They're easier? Yeah, they're easier in the beginning of the week. Oh. They're, they're not as obscure. Hey, you reached ready to Maybe I should try it in the right now. early yeah. weeks. But if you Today would be nice message, day. then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. To start. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. Hi, Freddy. We're on about for 40 more minutes. You can call us back. Okay, bye. Yep. All right, you watch, uh, you watch public access down there in California? Um, I don't have a television you know, TV? To, to do that. But you have uh, internet? Um, I do. Where, where is Arcata? Um, is it it's like two hours south of Oregon, kind of. So north, north, north of the yeah, northern, yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco's like five or six hours south. Oh, that's fun. Seems like so. It's, is it like the redwoods? Yeah. You ever see the? S- I've only seen that from the game Cruising USA. But like I remember yeah. going through, I think maybe Arcadia area. But there's those those giant redwoods. Have you seen that one where you can drive like through it? Oh yeah, yeah, the tree you can drive through. Yeah. Yeah. Is that alive? Is that tree alive still? I don't. I think so I think I went through it. Uh, I've never uh, been through the tree. I've been through that tree <laughs> on a family road trip, so it was probably like 20 years ago or something. Well, the tree is alive, because I guess if it was dead, it would maybe fall over or something. On the road. Yeah, I guess so. It's still got some roots in the ground. It's just got a big hole in the middle of it. It's not this root root hole, it's like a chopped hole though, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. a tunnel. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, weird idea. Yeah. It was a very novel idea, I guess. I've actually I've I've been I've drove through a tree well my parents did in Sequoia National Park. They have a yeah, they have a tree you can drive through there too. That might be the same one I've Yeah, been I'm, I think there's probably only one. Maybe there's a couple, I'm not sure. You go to uh, In and Out Burger. Is that up there? Or is that starts south, more south? Yeah, no, we don't have In and Out up there. It's too far north. Yeah. 
practically yeah. practically Oregon almost, right? I guess. Yeah, pretty much. It's yeah, I think it's part of the uh, the Cascadia region. Oh wait, no, it's part of uh, Jefferson. Jefferson State. Yeah, that's like our radio the 51st, station. Fifty first. Yeah. The fifty first state. Jefferson. Yeah. I think I lost. You heard about Jefferson before, right? To what about <gasps> Jefferson? Guys, I won two dollars. Oh right. Sweet. I have after one outfit, kit, use, and base. And you words, did you pay? Was it a one dollar ticket? It was a two dollar ticket. So you guys broke both people. We both broke, broke even. even. That's right. pretty good. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's a good start. That's fun. I um, didn't even expect to get that money back. It says Freddy is online. Freddy's online, oh, huh? No, he's not. No, he's not online. He's just up there on the top of the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't. We were supposed to call Thomas. You want to call somebody on the show, uh, or is that supposed to be off the show? Number. Oh, yeah. We left it at home. Three four. I don't remember. It starts with three four. Three four. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a lot of other numbers. It's probably hard yeah, to guess. Yeah. There's a few more. <laughs> What, when's the marriage there? The wedding? July 28th. In July? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 28th of July. That's pretty fun. Are you, uh, you guys doing the planning? You guys got to plan everything? That show, Bridezilla's? I've been watching a little bit of that show. No. Is it good? Uh, it's kind of, ir it's kind of irritating. It's about, like, the, the brides and they get crazy when they're getting close to marriage and they want everything, <laughs> 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 they want everything done their way. We should just turn <laughs> this show into a show like that, I and mean, we could bring Lonnie on every. I'll just like start getting really stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yell, yell at your family for things not being perfect about the wedding. So that's what they do on that show. Just yell at you guys yeah. about things. I don't think my dress fits. You jerks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not. I, th I should. I think I should plan more things on the show. But like what? I don't know. Well, just segments or something. I never really do that. End up doing it though. Have you ever had these? What is it? I don't know. I just bought them. Flamas. Flamas. Where'd you get them? Um, at the ga where I got my lotto ticket. The, these sunflowers. The Puget seeds. Pantry. Just down the street, huh? Yeah, I've never had them, but spicy. I, they look good. They're I think they're chili lime. Spicy sunflower seeds. I like chili lime. Me too. Isn't the ones, the sunflower seeds I have at home now are chili lime, but they don't look all red like that. Let's I think these see, ones I'm are gonna be extra good. Oh, they're, yeah, they're the Frito ones. I think all the Frito Lay people are selling um, more Mexican snacks up here in the U.S. now. I see in the, at the stores they have like the uh, Tapatio flavor. Oh. And yeah. Uh, the yeah, like the lime kind of weird lime flavor stuff. And what about the new Enchilada Supreme Doritos? You seen those? No, Enchilada Supreme. They're I called like Flavoriculous or something. Whoa. I'm gonna try them. I heard about them on the radio. Is that where you heard about that? Mm-hmm. Into a lot of flavor. I had the Doritos tacos from Taco Bell. Oh, really? really? They were too salty. Have you seen those I pictures? I think they were so oversalted. Crazy. Well, yeah. Do you think it was saltier than regular Doritos? I think it was, but... So, it, like, you want to eat Doritos and nachos. You know, if I was going to eat nachos, I'd rather just eat regular chips with nachos and not Dorito, flavored they Doritos. Dorito nachos there too? No, they they don't. But if I were to make it at home, I'm saying I would use regular yeah, corn you chips. Use you know? a, yeah, because you would yeah. you'd want to taste the flavor of your nacho toppings. Yeah, not, not just the chip. Like yeah, yeah you just like that's what it's yeah. like. And if you really want that like Dorito edge, you could just put like extra like MSG. Yeah, maybe. Did I, do you remember that guy I lived with? <laughs> that the was the only um, <laughs> spice he had. Yeah, back in, I lived at this mobile home park in mm -hmm. uh, Palmdale, and I had this roommate, Jim. He was like, he was older, he was probably like about 40. Yeah. And he didn't have hardly anything in the kitchen. He had like, he had like some Top Ramen, and like, um, I think he had maybe like a half bottle of vodka in the freezer <laughs> or something. And then he had this nice spice rack with all these nicely labeled bottles. Mm hmm you know like 30 bottles or something and they were all labeled but they were all empty and the only one that had that was always yeah. was MSG Whoa. it's the only spice he used or the only one he didn't use yeah, maybe he used up all the other ones yeah. halfway it's half over 
it's time for the dice game again. You want to roll the, want to roll the dice, Mark? Yeah, I'll just put a number under my hand. Oh, we keep the same number. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get it down there before the. Uh, oh, did you already that? It's a five. Is it? Do you roll it? Yeah, it's a five. I lost. Was it a five last time too, or was? It, I think it was a one. Last time it was a two. Last time it was a two. Oh, I got a four. I lost also. Did you? Yeah, I had. <gasps> I won! Oh, well, you won that one, but that one's not, not the official oh. one. We have to wait for the next one. I uh, won the fake one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a nine. We only get three rolls per show. Otherwise, we could just keep rolling and can always win. But, you know, winning, there's no stakes in this. Not like the, the those cards you guys brought. This is a no, no stakes. So when you lose... It's okay to lose because you just experience losing without uh, having lost any actual stakes. Yeah, it's just it, it's just you take a chance. Yeah, but no, no big deal really. So when we all lose, it's it's uh yeah it's 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 learning learning to lose, and then if you ever do lose for real, then you you can look back on this time and think about how it's not not big big of a thing. I always say when oh, everybody so you're loses. Prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, you put MSG. I like putting, I put MSG on stuff. I had a bottle of it, but it makes my tongue itch. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh. It's like, feels like it's getting, that's why I hear it gets like cut up a little bit or something. I feel like it's like glass or something. Yeah, it's like fiberglass. Yeah. That makes things taste, it's like a flavor enhancer. It's, it's weird. It's out of fiberglass. Yeah, and when you eat it, it doesn't, you can't really taste it. It just tastes good, but you're, it's like confusing, it's kind of confusing why it's good. You're like, you can't actually taste it, you just like, think it's good. But there's no, it's hard to taste the flavor of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you dial something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, we're gonna call somebody. By heart. Who we calling? Uh, we're calling Ruth Ruth Jensen. Oh, you know her number by heart too. I yeah, I'm a number memorizer. I'm not really a cell phone guy too much. Yeah, most of my numbers. But I know your number by heart. Yeah, I know yours inside my brains. All ten of them. In a row. I wonder if she'll pick up. What date? Oh, she might be at work. But it's it's after five though. Oh. No, it's not. It's after five. It's oh. five. It's four thirty-eight. Oh, she's at oh. work. At the end of her work day, she's packing we up. You can leave her a message. Hey folks, I'm not here right now. Leave a message. I guess. So. <laughs> Hi Ruth. Hey. Hi Ruth. Ruth. How's it going? You're at work. Um, we're not. We're on TV. <laughs> we're calling you from TV. You can call us back if you get off of work. I think you don't have time. Just call back this number. It's three 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 zero five three six three eight zero two. That's too many threes. <laughs> three <laughs> three three zero five three six three eight zero two. That's right. Okay. Who's that? That's my friend Ruth. Yeah, it's my friend Ruth. From from Arcadia? Yeah, she lives in Arcadia. Or Arcadia? No, it's not Arcadia? Yeah, is she's, that a different from, she's Arcadia? from the Mojave Arcadia? Desert. Arcadia is actually a city that's um, kind of like neighboring it's Pasadena. Yeah, Pasadena. Yeah, Arcadia is um, much, much farther. Ar you're from Arcadia, and Arcadia, Arcadia is further south? Arcadia is more like it's LA like, yeah, area. It's like oh, LA that's why I I think this whole time I thought that's where you were from. No, I didn't yeah. realize there was two places. That's where you you grew up there too in Northern California, there, Mark. No, we both grew up in the in the desert, the Antelope Valley. Uh, did you guys know each other when you were uh, kids or younger? Or? Younger, we yeah, met about. I w that was like ten years about ago. About ten years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How, how did you, how did you propose to her? Is that a can I is it, was it exciting? I think you were sitting about that high, and I was sitting on the floor, and we you were about to go get some bagels, and I I was like, so so you gonna marry me? You, you will you marry me? And <laughs> I think you you were like yeah, <laughs> yeah you're kind of like that uh, yeah you like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, and then we went to go get breakfast. That sounds and, nice. Um, yeah, it was really yeah. funny because uh, 
the people I, I was on tour, the people in my band didn't believe. They oh were yeah, because it happened to be April first, so people. That's my birthday. It is. Oh. Yeah. Well, congratulations. April first. Yeah, you yeah, guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> It is for real. You guys got uh, engaged on my birthday. Yeah. Well, okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. You know what's funny? That girl Ruth that we just tried to call. Mm-hmm. Um, she had a dream that like had to do with me and Mark, and so she kind of even knew that we were we were gonna get married before. Whoa. Mhm. Yeah. That's good. She's intuitive. My mom had a dream. That the night before that I was gonna call her and tell her that I got married, or she had a dream that I did that before before I did it. Cool. Hey, so on on June thirteenth, we're gonna be doing the best of Olympia awards. So viewers, you guys can start sending in your submissions. It's your daily hour with me at gmail.com, or you can call the number. Uh, you can send in your categories and your winners of the category. So pretty much whatever best restaurant best person best uh, artist best TV show or uh, street person Ooh, house stuff like street. that anything like that you can call in and uh, we're going to be doing those awards on the 13th here I think we're going to be doing them from the voyeur so if you guys want to okay. go to that it'll be an event Mark what are you going to vote for um, I'm probably going to vote for the best street, but not any of the other categories. What's the best street? I haven't thought about it yet. You can't vote for any avenues or roads. You can, no, uh, you can, uh, make, you get to make up your own categories. Oh, okay. So you just kind of send in a get category, and then if anybody else has the same category. But then everybody, you know, lots of people get to win. That's so, great. Yeah. If you want to, uh... Are you going to have awards? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Cool. Like applause? Yeah, applause, some yeah, kind of that's awards. That's a really good reward. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll try to try to get sponsor local sponsors to give give out prizes. That's what most of the award ceremonies seem to happen around here. Are those your movies? Those are the tapes I'm taping over, so they're all being taped over. Oh no. So if you want to keep any of them, you can grab them off there before I tape them over. You get a lot of money for those movies. You think so? There's some big Famous movies up there. Yeah, I'm taping over them. They're, they're famous movies, but they only want to give you like 10 cents or something for movies if you want to go anywhere. But I, I'm taping over them because there's lots of copies of them, and I stopped taping over. So we have we have all we've stopped taping over all our tapes, and we have all the tapes in a basement somewhere. In Freddie's basement, there's a big pile, and we have over we have 150 tapes, so we stopped taping over. Every episode we still keep on VHS now. Wow. I don't know what we're gonna do with the library. Is that yeah. Seven Samurai? Uh, no, no, it's just that's seven. seven. That's David. Oh no, seven samurai up there. Yeah. Oh. It is. Yeah, oh, wow. second shelf. We have the seven Who and seven samurai. That? Is it like Kurosawa? Kurosawa? Yeah. Is it? I'm yeah. not sure. It, he okay, did it. Can you see it? From here? I bet a lot of those movies cost like 25, 30 bucks when they were new. Yeah, Probably. yeah, they did. I'm sure. Lots of lots of stuff like that. There's big. There's the Water Boy. All these new stuff. And, uh, I think Dumb and Dumber probably never cost more than ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, some of those movies they came out when the DVDs were already out, and they were kind of the weird uh, yeah. middle of time. Well, yeah, there was. I think VHS was coming out till probably about two thousand five. Yeah, bar- um, b- b- for b- like b- barely. Movies. Yeah, like two, probably two thousand, two thousand five for like rare. Two thousand five, they were still. Well, like when did the last Lord of the Rings movie come out? Because that came out on VHS. Yeah, that was one of the last, the last ones. Though by that time, it almost only a few things were on VHS. Mm. And they probably just were obligated to do it because they put out the first two on VHS, and so yeah, somebody well, with a VCR was going to be really upset that they couldn't complete their collection. I was pretty upset when video stores started just switching over to DVDs. Yeah, I was mad because I thought the DVDs weren't going to stick, and I don't. I still am not sure that they are. I don't. I kind of hope they don't because it's really hard to like keep them without them getting scratched. Yeah. The one thing they did good with the DVDs is putting out all the old TV shows that you couldn't watch for a long time. Any of those any of those digital formats are uh, just storage devices anyway. DVDs and Blu-rays. Because you can just watch it on your computer and if you have the file, it's exactly the same thing. Because mm-hmm. it's true. digital storage unit. So I think any any of those digital storage things are all kind of the same thing. Oh, there's a last, last commercial break here. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. 
We're here. Yeah, it's fake Zilla. Yeah, come to our festival, June. Eighth, ninth, and tenth. But also watch our show. show. It's forty dollars, three days. We're gonna be on TV tonight at eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. With these guys, they're crazy. Watch this show. We're crazy. We say a lot of offensive things. Yeah, watch it tonight at eleven thirty. We're on every day. Thanks. Bye. Thank you very much. Your daily hour with Yeah! We're back! You don't know? She said we're talking about pub, or public access in Arcadia? Or Arcadia? They probably have it in Arcadia. Yeah, probably in Arcadia, but I've never heard about it in Arcadia. There's like a few like kind of um, people that do like radio programs. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard about anyone doing TV. Do they have do they have a local radio station there? Um, There's well, a handful of radio stations. Yeah, there. we have a lot of like the colleges do them, um, and then I know a few people who do like pirate radio. Oh. Programs. But um. Yeah. Is it a college town? Is it kind of seem like is it like Olympia? It's way smaller than Olympia, but it it is a college town. It's um. There's a lot of trees. A lot of trees. It's really tiny, too. Like, you can pretty much, like, I was telling Mark earlier, like, if you want to find somebody, you can just pretty much, like, walk around town until you run into them. Um, yeah. Real small. I mean, you can mostly do that here, You're depending on who yeah. you're finding. That, it seems like it, but I think, I think it, it's just a lot smaller. Like, there's only, like, one little stretch of shops. And, um, yeah. What's the college there? Humboldt State University. That's a famous one, right? HSU. Yeah, I, I graduated from Humboldt. that college. Humboldt, Humboldt County? Yeah, she's in the... Uh, is that yeah, alum. that's where Arcata is. It's in Humboldt County. Should we call call Arcata? California McDonald's. You ever go to the McDonald's there? Is there a McDonald's in Arcata or just in Eureka? Um, there's one in Arcata. It's kind of like in the like far away section of the town that's how our mcdonald's is yeah it's when it's on the outskirts it's kind of far these are all arcadia yeah where's our how do you spell arcadia it's oh arcata arcata yeah, yeah there you go oh okay that makes more sense than arcata arcata like this yeah oh you have a real keyboard oh yeah we have the whoa <laughs> we usually use the on-screen one <laughs> We got the computers back, yeah. That's great. All right, here it is. It's on uh, Valley West Boulevard. Yeah. That's where the Dollar Tree is, and... Oh, they have a Dollar Tree there, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a Dollar so Tree. So the Dollar Tree is super uh, chainy then, I guess. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had those in Lancaster, California, too. They used to just have Dollar Stores. That's actually why Brown Interior, the mm -hmm. tape label started, was because Dollar Tree had their own brand of tapes that were three for a dollar. Whoa. Called Realitech. They stopped selling those about five or six years ago. I like the dollar store. They, remember, there, there was a dollar store and dollar tree here, and the dollar store beat them out. Or, I mean, dollar tree beat them out. Hello? Hello. In McDonald's? Correct. Do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? Uh, 
Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, hi. Oh, no, you got... we're not carrying any orange milkshakes. Oh, cuz no. I'm waiting for them. They usually come in the summer at Arctic Orange. Is that coming back this year? Hello? Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah, so you're not gonna get him back? Um, I can't picture any orange milkshakes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, thank okay. you. Alright, thanks. That was Arcada. Arcada. Huh. <laughs> California there. You like McDonald's? You ever go? Um. You told me about Yeah, I, I did when I lived. I lived in Pasadena for a while. And sometimes I would go to get a um, smoothie. The new ones. Mm hmm. The McCafe smoothies. Yeah, they they're, they're, they're good. I like them. That's the big thing that they're promoting right now. Yeah, I got one of those while I was on tour. Cherry Berry Chiller. Whoa, I, I didn't have that one. I had the, I, I think I had the Very Berry. Yeah, I didn't thriller. get any cherry berries, but I was getting like, like a mango or something. I sold you that on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have, this is the official copy with the, with the stuff in the commercial. This is, it, Marcus, he, he is Scroll Meadow. Yeah, and then so it's, uh, you can get this tape, the one that we play all the time. We should play some songs Since off of it. Since 1999. How are these? These are uh, doing pretty well. These. Yeah, man. They're like, I only have two left. I don't know how many NAR tapes and shit have, but they said they don't have very many, and they're gonna be making more. It's gone. So. It's copper, maybe. Yeah. But. Yeah, we're gonna make some more. There's a song on it that's gonna be uh, in the music issue of the Believer this year. Oh, when's the when's the um the karaoke video coming out? Oh yeah, at the Clipper. Um, I don't know. They, I I saw the guys Sam and Brian who were working on it last night, and they said it's almost done. I I think they were meeting up about it today. Actually. Oh good. Did you get a get it on VHS? Bring it over, or you show it on the show. I will. It's probably just right over there at Chez Puget, whatever's. Well, we're getting a, a phone call. Uh -oh. Hello. Oh, it's. Hello. Hello. Ruth. Ruth. Yeah, it's me. How's it going? Your pal. Good. I'm just. I was just walking out and about Sunny Bray. I think I'm gonna get some tortillas. What are you up to? We're on TV. Yeah, this is our friend You're Kenny. You're on TV? Yeah, you are too, kind of, now. Whoa. Yeah, it's Ooh, so... We're on TV. So don't say anything you're going to regret. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, public. don't say anything I'm going to regret? Yeah. Dang. Well, you can. I well, mean, yeah, I mean, really? it'd probably be funny you if should you never. Yeah. You should never say things you're going to regret. That's true. <laughs> No, no, never, never. So wait, <laughs> is this like a, I'm confused, how are you on TV? Like, what, huh? We're on public access television, we record the show every day. Yeah. Oh, cool. So why are you, why are you answering your phone in the middle of a TV show? This is, this <laughs> is the phone, where it's a call-in show, or a call-out show, we called you first. It's a talk show. Oh, am I on a talk show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do with your tortillas? Um, I was going to make some kick-ass quesadillas. Oh, kick-ass okay. quesadillas. That sounds like something you could trademark. Yeah, what's in there? <laughs> yeah, no, they're going to be so cool. They're going to have, like, sausage and, and, and cheese. Yeah, they're definitely going to have cheese. <laughs> and uh, they're gonna, I'm going to put salsa on them. And they're going to have bell pepper. And they're gonna be so good, and it'll be great. Are they they're special tortillas? Um, no, I have a video what tortillas I'm gonna make them from. That's why I was going to the market. Are you going to Murphy's? Yeah, hell yeah, of course I'm going to Murphy's. <laughs> That's the market to go Murphy. to in what's, Sunny Bray. What's Murphy's? It's a really good market. Um, it's in Sunny it's Bray. Just, There's one in Arcata too. Yeah, it's our like a little local market. Like a grocery store? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it's well, it's 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 like a grocery store except like Safeway, but it's better because it's Murphy's and they're nicer and they're local. 
<laughs> and they feature Jeff and I in the paper. Oh yeah, they put them in the paper for their ad. Who? Um, Murphy's for Market. Me neighbors. You want, you want to pick pick a number between one and six, Ruth? Between, pick a number between one and six. Yes. Do I tell it to you or just keep it in my no, head? No, just t- tell us. Yeah. Um, three. Oh. Um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I picked. That's what I picked. That's what I picked too. Oh, and I, you both lost. Oh, I won. I won. What? Oh, Kenny won. Oh, cool. I won the game. Oh, yeah, there it is. He had... He, he, Kenny chose four. But I think we did we roll a three? Oh no, you had three earlier, so. Yeah, that was the fake roll, though. All right. I rolled a nine, and it was a number between one and six. <laughs> but if I put my palm down, then I could have had a, a six. But okay. I never got one. I'm going to just roll a dice every once in a while. Yeah. And see what who wins. I won so the game today. Is this like a chance to only see uh, in Olympia, or is this something you can go online and watch? Uh, it's on. It's online also. It's on YouTube. Yeah, there's how many? Like five, six hundred. Six hundred we, episodes. We we did episode six hundred was last Thursday. So. Hey Ruth, remember when Mark sent us a link, or he sent us an email to watch this, and there was no link? Uh, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was really confusing, Mark. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're on episode 613. We just, like, shared the screen and got confused and then forgot about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, the show's called Your Daily Hour with Me. And if you just Google search that, it'll come up. Okay, Google searching Your Daily Hour with what? With me. With me? Yeah. No, me. M-E. M-E. Yeah, with me. <laughs> yes, with Kenny. Well, no, it's a, it's, a, it's everybody. That's why it's a. Uh, it, everybody's me. It's a pronoun. Yeah, pronouns they're interchangeable. So you say your daily. So whoever's saying it, it's them. Cause you're watching. If you watch the show, it's your daily hour with yourself too. In the in the show there. So yeah, you can call the show. We're on every day. You can call in if you see something on the streets. Yeah, if you ever see anything interesting, or if there anything. Uh. Anything cool ever happens, you should call the show. Yeah. Oh, I typed it in wrong. Oh, here we go. Uh, you're on, on the internet. I was confused. This like Bible verse popped up. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Which Bible verse was it? Um, let me see. I went away from that. This is uh, for Alex and Cause I accidentally typed in oh, yeah. "new daily hour with me" and it was Luke twenty two fifty three. Oh, I forget that one. I don't know. Any, did you know verses in the past? Yeah, I, I, uh, could, I could tell you a couple. Yeah, Mark and I totally knew verses in the past. Oh, yeah. Did you guys go to church together? Yeah, that's where we met. I met Ruth when she was like eight or nine. Oh, well. Wow. What? At church. Seven, what eight, branch, nine, what like branch of church was church. it? Like, what franchise? A, a, Episcopalian? It was, it was the, uh, what was it called? It was... Assemblies of God was the franchise. Hmm. But now, yeah, now, it was Christian Life Assembly, and I don't know what it is now. But it's, now you're now you're an Orthodox. Now I'm an Orthodox. Yes. What's an Orthodox? Is it Jewish? Orthodox have more incense and cool paintings and stuff. Okay. And chanting. Yeah. Yeah, they you know, like the icon pictures. The, the it's, icons, it's, yeah. It's the original, you know, like Greek, Russia. Yeah, Greek, Turkey. Russian, Turkish, Orthodox. Armenia. Ruth, say Egypt, something in Russian. Okay. Say something in Orthodox. Oh, you speak Russian? Say some or- some Russian words. Ah, shtutikoya, shtutikoya. Shtutohachis. Spasiba, spasiba. Nostrovia. Oh. That was good, thanks. Oh, there, there's yeah, that song. Three, there's this cool song at um at Ruth's church that they do all the time that goes, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, that is how it goes. Yeah, yeah we sing that like constantly. Yeah, you well that like, sounds fun. The, the preacher is just singing Lord the whole time, and you sing back. Things Whoa. Like that. 
That's why I say I, I went to I talked to Alex and Ashley and they don't they don't sing too much in their church. I guess so. That's what it seems like church should be about. Yeah. Hey, have you, no, have, we're like singing constantly in our church. That's like mostly what it consists of. That sounds fun. You ever, have you ever been on TV before? I am. Uh, oh, kind of, yeah. One time we, were, we did this steamroll for a making event, and I wasn't like interviewed, but my crew, I was with a crew printing, and we were. The what? Uh oh. She's gone. Uh, we, printing. We couldn't hear you. Oh, can you repeat it? Giant wood blocks. Can you repeat that story? We messed it. I messed it up. Or the the cords messed up a little bit. Oh no, it's okay. The one time I was on television before, uh, I was with a group of artists, printmakers, and we had a bunch of gigantic, like six foot by three and a half foot wood blocks we had carved. We rented a steamroller. And we ran over the wood blocks with a steamroller and printed a bunch of prints onto giant pieces of fabric. Whoa. And we were on television for doing that. On, on the new, local news? Yeah, on the local news. Did That's pretty much my only time I've been on television. That sounds good. Is it, what's the, yeah, what's the local station down there? Uh, Channel 3? <laughs> Wait, in, uh, in Lancaster? No, she's talking about Narkita. No. There is a local station in Arcata? Well, local news, at least. No, no local news, it's like Eureka Channel. Oh, it's a Eureka thing? Three? Yeah, News Channel 3, K-I-E-M. Uh, the you, Spirit of the North Coast. Do you get to uh, the North Coast? Do you get, do you get cable? No, I get internet. Internet, yeah, everybody has, everybody has internet. Oh, you know, so you, is it, you know about public access down there? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. No, I don't yeah. know. Okay. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. I think we're getting down to we only about yeah. about three minutes left on the program. Do, do we have any more cool. business? Uh. No, I already talked to Fake Zillas coming here tomorrow. They're a band. They were on here last week with the when they brought their drums and stuff. But tomorrow they're gonna come on to one chat. Minute oh, one minute left. Oh wow, what? one minute. Thanks, left. thanks, Ruth. Yeah. Hey, we'll. Oh, yeah, me and Lonnie are guys. gonna see you in a few days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and if wow. you and Jeff come thanks. up here and visit, maybe you can go on the show. Yeah, you and Jeff should come on the All show right. next time you're up here. Yeah. Anytime, anytime. We'd be happy to. Okay, All thanks. All right, catch you guys Love, later. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Ruth. Bye. Bye. All right. It's the end of the show. There's some traffic. We're going to come up. The timer's going to come up here. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thanks for Yeah, goodbye. thanks for having us. Congratulations on uh, the engagement yeah, and, winning, and winning the lotto tickets, too, or thanks. at least not losing yeah, your money. Big winners. Yeah, this is great. Life, winning in life and in the gambling there. <laughs> No, you're not supposed to scratch that. I think you can <laughs> scratch it at all, probably. I don't know. My mom always told me not to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your daily out with me. My mom. County. Yeah.